new bike at Scooter West. Best Thanks, Motorsports San thank Diego. You. Thank you. Thank you for your, my help. <laughs> Just want everyone to know it was born here. That's why I make sure I get some. Hello, hello, hello. It's Glenn, Fat Cat Scooter here. Quick review. Beverly or BV 400, 2023 model. Forgive me, I'm shooting in my garage. A little windy outside today. Anyway, I just got this bike. It has about 350 miles on it. I freaking love it. I got it from Scooter West. Uh, thank you, Alex. Thank you, Robot. Uh, thank you to the sales manager and all the people at Scooter West hooked me up. Great price. Got the bike right away after I, right after I called. She snuck me in and got me a great, great bike. I picked it up, brought it back to Phoenix. So, quick review. This is by far the smoothest bike I've ever owned. When I accelerate and when I get up to highway speeds, which, by the way, has no problems with you don't feel any rattling you don't feel any shaking i just sold my fairly new bergman 400 specifically for that reason um the only downside at all and i wouldn't even call it a downside but i just did is there's just limited room between where your rear goes and the front of your toe goes that's it i'm i'm gonna say i'm 510 and no problem first ride with the san diego scooter squadron by the way was um 150 miles round trip and uh no problem totally comfortable and i have a little bit of a bad back hard to believe and uh bike was great bike has great shocks uh handles the road fantastic it's just one disc stopping power is, is unbelievably great i know some bikes especially in front they'll have dual disc this has a single disc doesn't need any more than that i think the styling is nice uh, he had, uh, Alex had, at Scooter West, a, I think it was a flat black, and I'm going to call this a gloss, I don't know if this is glossy or flat blue to be honest, but um, uh, it's a blue bike, it's very, very dark blue, I think it's really, really nice looking, that's one I chose, uh, he hooked me up with a nice top case, and the bike's beautiful, just a couple things about it, it does have, have a key fob, which, you know, I like a key better, but you know, it's uh, the modern age, so I guess you have a key fob. Very easy to use. You have it somewhere within close to the bike. Again, I'm not going to do a technical review. Just, just it, took, it took me a minute after the store showed me how to use it. You press this guy here. That light comes on. You're in business. You want to lock it just like any other bike or scooter. You turn it to the left. That's kind of your neutral position. That's on. Screen comes on. You can adjust. I think it, I think it has a white color. I, it's The bike's so new, I've hardly played with it, but... Bright sunlight here in, in Arizona. You don't have any problem seeing the screen. There's different modes. Uh, um, let me just show you some of the lights here. It's LED. The headlight's LED too. And LED tail lights. Uh, under the seat is an uh, incandescent bulb. That's the only one that's not LED. Um, it starts right off. You know the deal. You pull the handle. You press the button. Has a nice growl to it. That's the headlights. I'm going to shut it off so I don't die of carbon monoxide poisoning. Um, things like, you know, glove compartment. If you have a Vespa or scooter, you know about these things. Opens that deal up. Um, what I like are the buttons on here. Fuel pops that door. Ba boom. The cap is a quarter opening cap. Turn a quarter, lift it up. It's so easy to use, it's crazy. Hope I'm getting these buttons good. Under seat storage. Press the button. It clicks. These are nice, big, solid buttons. I guess that's the, uh, you know, the traction control here. Again, I haven't had enough time to play with everything, but factory settings are working for, fine for me. Under the seat, uh, they got smart. I believe. I believe. I think. I think that's new. These springs to previous years. I don't know, but it works really well. Stays up great. Nice big under under storage probably two half helmets maybe two quarter helmets maybe one full helmet i put my full helmet in the top case easy peasy 
The seat is like a pleatherette and a suede, super comfortable. Um, the only <laughs> mistake I made, sorry if my filming's off. I've got this teeny little camera I'm using. Top case, Piaggio top case, has a key. So of course, put my helmet in or whatever, took my helmet out of there. Go down the highway the first time I go down the, the highway. Stop at a traffic light <laughs> half hour later. Guy said, hey, your key's in the top case because it's a key fob. Uh, you just got to be careful. You don't do a dumb move like I did. Uh, other than that, you'll be in good shape. This is a uh, connection button for Bluetooth. I tried it once. I downloaded the app. Didn't start up right away. I'm not good with that stuff anyway. So has it if you want it. But I just mount my phone, and I use that for GPS, Bluetooth, and, and I just uh, actually... The store did it for me. Scooter West did it for me. They put that little mount on there for me. Thank you, guys. They also put uh, a little tail underneath there for my trickle charger. So, let's see if I can open this again. Again, you press that little button. It's going to pop the seat. <coughs> Ta-da! And they have a tail underneath there. Hangs over. I trickle charge it. Life is beautiful. And uh, I'm going to shut this guy off. I think I shut it off. And then you can put it in the lock position, too. But... Um, that's it. I think that's pretty much it. Comfortable, comfortable ride. Great, plenty of power if you're thinking about this bike. Um, again, I liked it a little bit better than a Bergman. Bergman, you can lay back a little bit more, but didn't seem as powerful. It didn't, it definitely is not as smooth as a spike. Um, I do have the 300. It's a little bit heavier of a bike than the 300, but you know how they do it. They keep the weight down low. And so these things are totally easy to handle. I like that I have a bike, the 300, that has the small wheels, a more traditional look, classic Vespa. But it's nice because, you know, when I want to commute or I just, just want more power, it's so fun to have these huge wheels on here. And uh, that's it. Again, short video. Hope I'm not saying on, um, too much. I probably am. I probably made some mistakes that you can make comments in there. Probably won't listen to them. But maybe I will. Here. Don't forget, Phoenix Scooter Club is hosting a Mary Vespa with the Vespa Club of America and the Lions of Scooter Club here in Phoenix and my buddy Mario's Club, the South Bay Scooter Club in Torrance, California area. We're all hosting a Mary Vespa next year, Flagstaff 2023, which is the whole reason I actually got a bigger bike. Hope to see you guys there. You can register for that at, uh, at why can't I remember? Oh, amerivespa.net. And uh, you can find more information about the ride there. Again, BV400 by Piaggio. Two thumbs up. There's one there. Just a fantastic bike. Scooter West hooked me up. This thing's so much fun. Again, it's thanks Thanksgiving Day here today. So I'm going to go get cleaned up, put my helmet on, take it for a little ride. I haven't seen many of these bikes around, but I'm sure there'll be more. Um, let me know what you think. Take care. Thanks for listening.